1010 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Good afternoon. Here we are heading into the end of the week. We're still dealing with a lot of heat and humidity, and that is not going to go away anytime soon. Right now, we are at 85 degrees at the Naval Air Station in Corpus Christi up to 87 degrees. We hit 88 today, and Port Aransas at 82, feeling the heat toward the uh, west with 90 degrees right now at Alice. So uh, as we go overnight, we are only going to drop into those low to mid 70s tonight. It's going to stay warm and muggy tonight, and we'll have that breeze blowing up to about 12 miles an hour. Also, some low clouds coming in, a partly cloudy night with some patchy fog possible. Temperatures down to 74 for Corpus Christi, but closer to the beaches in the mid 70s tonight and lower 70s in our inland area. So staying warm warm all night, giving us a muggy morning and a very warm and humid afternoon tomorrow. As temperatures climb again, the difference tomorrow will be the wind is going to be a little stronger. So we'll have more gusts with those southeast winds up to approaching 30 miles an hour at times. Sustained winds tomorrow close to 18 miles an hour in the afternoon. So a little more windy tomorrow and we'll see those feels like kind of like we had today up to about 94, 95 degrees when you factor in the humidity. These are the forecast high temperatures Temperatures then for your Friday, temperatures reaching 91 for Alice, 90 Beeville, 89 Robstown, and up to 88 at Corpus Christi. Heading to the beaches, well, it'll be fairly warm out there with readings in the lower 80s with 82 degrees at Port Aransas tomorrow. As we'll see those winds, though, picking up a little bit tomorrow and even more Saturday. Saturday, I still think we'll see some gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Sunday, the winds come back down. Sunday looks like a pretty good day to get outdoors, but then we see that wind increasing again for the beginning of next week from the southeast. As we're dealing with some changes in the wind, the humidity is not going to change. In fact, it even comes up even more. We're looking at dew points in the mid, even some upper 70s by, as we head into next week. So over the next couple of days, we just sit in that very humid air here in the coastal bend. Notice to the north, there's some improvement here as storms will move through with a weak cold front. But for us, we never quite get into that and we stay in the very humid air right into next week. Now we do have an approaching system from the Pacific, but we're going to be missed by the main punch with this. In fact, this storm system is going to track across the central U.S., bringing severe weather and quite a bit of storm activity for us. We're going to be on the very south end of that, and most of us are going to be missed by it, and that would be Saturday. You can see, though, on our future track, it's very similar to what I showed the past couple of days. Storms stay to the north, but a few may develop. The air is going to be very unstable Saturday. However, the better chance of seeing those storms getting going is going to be north toward Victoria. For us, we're looking at the potential of a few. I'm leaving those in the forecast and whatever does develop could be pretty strong. But farther to the north Saturday here's seven o'clock in the evening. You can see storms continuing to pull into northeast uh, Texas and then pulling out and anything left Sunday looks really early in the morning, mainly north of us. And I think Sunday is going to be a mainly dry day across the area. So we do have a severe storm potential in much of northern and northeast Texas. But notice we're just on the edge of that. As I mentioned, if we do see a storm getting going Saturday late in the day, there's there's the potential we could have some strong wind or hail with that. So the weekend forecast is very warm. We'll call it hot by Sunday as we approach 90 degrees and the heat index Sunday up to 99. That's what it'll feel like if you're out in that humidity. The breeze will help cool us down though a little bit. Here's the seven day forecast. Very warm and humid chance of storms late Saturday, but it's a pretty dry forecast. Only isolated storms possible Tuesday. And look at those 90s as we head into next week. It looks hot and sticky for much of the week.